Alright, alright, making sure everything's right. Give me a second right here. Make sure everything's right. All right, Khan. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect and the one third, and the brothers and sisters out there uh, living and fighting for this truth. All right. So in this lesson right here, I just want to go into um, being sober-minded at these times, not overindulging in anything that is not that uh, not overindulging in in anything that's not of this, these scriptures. Because, because right now, Satan wants to sway you one way, regardless of what that way is, because every brother in this truth has a fight and has something that they're struggling with, has something that they're dealing with. Some brothers got depression, some brothers got anxiety, some brothers got drinking problems, some brothers got problems with their women, some brothers got money problems, some brothers are homeless. Every single person in this truth has their own fight that they're dealing with. And every single person in this truth has their things that they indulge in. So, so right now is not the time to be overindulging in, in anything because, because we're getting closer and closer to the finish line. So you don't, you don't want nothing to knock you off your course. And that's, that's anything. Cause, and don't, don't point at one thing because you're not dealing with it because you, you, you have your own things that, um, that you struggle with, you know, cause, cause some people, if it's, if it's not drinking, some people, uh, are overeating. Some people, if it's not overeating, you you're arguing with your lady every day, and you're not you're not having time to get into scriptures. If you're not arguing with your lady every day, you know what I'm saying you 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 uh you're being a you know what I'm saying a whoremonger or, or something. You know we all got our fights. But uh, this is First Peter chapter five verse eight. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of of God, that He may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Here's the point. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So, so right. So be so be sober and, and be vigilant. And that that doesn't mean abstain, abstain completely abstain from uh, from drinking, because some brothers drink. Personally, I don't, but some brothers like to like to um, like to sip a little bit, which is uh, which is lawful. But don't don't overindulge in that. Because what the what Satan wants to do, Satan's goal is to knock you off the course and get you out of this truth. That's the that's the goal of Satan. So, in whatever way he could do that, that's 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 what he's trying to do. And in a in a way that people get knocked out, and in the in a way that people uh, fall off the, their course in this truth is by overindulging in something, overindulging in drinking, overindulging in whoremongering, trying to trying to get on the next woman and the next woman, trying to juggle four women at once. Over overindulging in in folly, uh, you know all all day you're you're watching the, these this the sports you're watching 2K you're watching uh, basketball all day you're on you're on the video games you know what I'm saying and, and not getting into the scriptures you know every brother every brother in, in this truth has has something that they're they're struggling with but we but we gotta we gotta fight that in order to strive in, in order to strive for the mastery because that's the goal. That's the goal in this in this truth is to get that crown upon our heads. Get that crown, get that crown upon our heads, and um, and have the Lord and have the Lord uh protect us when these time comes. Salakia, so I thought I had it queued up, striving for the mastery. One second. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's the goal is to strive is to strive for the mastery. And if you're drunk, if you're drunk out of your mind all day, and you're 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 texting, uh, trying to figure out the next the next uh, lady to hop on, or overindulging in sadness, overindulging in 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 uh in things of your past, you're not gonna you're not gonna uh you're not gonna do your best for in this truth. You're not gonna uh. You're not gonna strive for the mastery in this truth, which is which is our all of our main objectives, because because every brother has their own uh their own measure and their own fight. You know what I'm saying? 
So lock I'm trying to find the scripture. Second Timothy two verse five. So this is 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 And if a man also strive for masteries Yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully So like this is, this is the wrong scripture Bear with me I think I saw it in Corinthians Here we go Nine and twenty-five. All right, so this is Second Corinthians chapter nine. I'm gonna start at twenty-four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? Right. So we're talking. So if you're talking about like a track race, right? All everybody's running, but they all uh, strive to re uh, strive to receive that th what first place. Nobody runs to get second or third place unless they know they're not supposed to be there. But brothers in this faith, we gotta we gotta know in our minds and believe that we belong in this truth. That, that that's also something that um can knock us off as well. Just not just not feeling like you belong because because a lot of times in this in in um in our in our past, you know, sometimes sometimes in our past, certain brothers never felt like they belong in a, in certain friend groups. Certain brothers never felt like they belong uh, amongst amongst you know their craft that that they're doing, but. Every, but it says in the scriptures that every man who uh, who comes as me must believe they are. So nobody nobody should come uh, already condemned in your mind. But I'm gonna get this scripture. This First Corinthians chapter nine verse twenty four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we an incorruptible, right? So people that are trying to um, are are like elite track runners, like Olympic Olympic runners. They're temper they're temperate at all things. They're not drink drinking off off their uh, butts all day. Not the ones that are at the top. You know, they're not drinking off their butts all day. They're not um, overindulging in folly all day. They they, they are what they're focused on is, is their craft. You know, every day, every morning, they're stretching. Every night before they go to sleep, they're stretching. They make sure they get their one or two workouts in a day. You know what I'm saying? That people like that, those are who strive for the mastery. And those people are usually who get who get those type of people are usually the people who get as close as possible to the mastery. You know, no nobody gets on that top top level uh just being just being uh just being a casual, you know what I'm saying? So now they do it. Uh, to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, right? Because if if you're if you're fighting for for a gold medal, if somebody steals that gold medal after after you get it, you know you post po put it up in your room, and somebody steals that, you know that that's gone. But this crown that we're fighting for, this crown that we're studying for, this crown that we're putting up videos for, this crown that brothers go out in the highways and hedges for and look like a fool and stuff for, this crown that the brothers um. You know change their life for and, and, and pray for and, and you know cry to the Lord for this is the crown that we're that we're uh, doing it for is incorruptible it that this crown it, it we're, we're doing it for is a crown that no nobody could take away from us not no nobody could nobody could take away take away from us no no man could come up to you and and and, and take the spirit of the, of the Lord from you you know it, it, if it, if it's in you, it's it's in you, you know, and it, and it's between you and the Lord. Only the Lord can take the spirit away from you. But it, but you know, you just gotta you just gotta stay in the faith. So here's verse twenty six. There I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Right. So so we're not running like oh like we're just running running a hail mary. You know we, we you know um, just expecting to lose because. Because until we have, uh, until we're completely crowned one of the elect, until we're beamed up in the chariots, we don't we don't know if we are, but we have to believe believe that we are, and we we have to rehearse those righteous acts li like we are. Because if somebody if somebody really doesn't believe they are, they won't even be trying in the first place. But but obviously we're we're trying, we're fighting because we believe that we are, and we're going to stay in that stead. We're we're making our call into election sure.
You know, we're trying to make your, our calling to election assured. Is, uh, this is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. Right. Do what? Do what? Put out, put out videos. Do what? Preach. Do what? Keep your mind sober and intact. Staying focused. Standing upon your watchtower. If you if you do uh, always praying and, and believing and calling on the names of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and casting your burdens upon Him, because if you if you do that, you, there's no way you could fail. There's 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 no way you could fail if if you are uh, if you are doing your due diligence. Wherefore, the rather brethren give do give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right, because we until until we are in those chariots with the crown on our heads, we don't know if we are one of the elect. But we're 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 doing due diligence to make our calling to of election sure. And and there's certain indicators that that's that uh you'll know somebody is of the elect. You'll know somebody is the house of David. And and what are what is an indicator? This is 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. So, so that's an indicator right now. If you're continuing to get stronger in the faith, if you're if you're if you're uh, continuing to be a become a better speaker, you know you were stuttering, you know every other word, but you know now it's getting smoother, smoother and smoother. You you didn't you didn't know certain how many uh, you knew only three scriptures starting, but now you know you know five. And now you know ten off the head, and and now you know uh, eleven, uh, fifteen off rip. You know uh, you're continuing to to increase in the spirit. You're continuing to getting stronger and stronger. That's an indicator that you are the house of David and that you are you are one of the elect. And and if not, then then you may you may be the house of Saul. But 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 the thing is. The, the house of David when they stumble when they stumble and fall short of the glory of the Lord you know they stumble and um, you know they, they, they slip a little bit the, th the, th the difference between them and the house of Saul is the house of David when they fall when they slip they don't fall they stumble they uh, bend but don't break so I had that scripture queued up righteous man fall us seven times we're not supposed to let our sins weigh us down right right now we're not supposed to let our shortcomings of the Lord uh, weigh us down right now because we're, we're still in this race you know this the, you know the spirit is still in us we still wake up and call on the names of the Lord and don't abhor the name of the Lord so so we are we still have a chance in this fight so we're, we're not to uh, to give up because because it are it says in the scriptures right here that I'm about to read that a righteous man fall uh, a righteous man fall fall is seven times you know because we're not perfect we're, we're we're not we're not perfect you know so this is Proverbs this is Proverbs uh, not spoil his resting place God this is Proverbs chapter twenty four verse sixteen for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief, right? So, so a just man, you 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 fall, you fall, you uh, you fall, but you don't you don't give up because you keep rising up again. You know, you you may uh slip up and and slack up on your reading, but you don't you don't you don't give up. You don't be like, okay, well, I I haven't been reading, so you know I'm finished. You 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 get you get back into the scripts. You you uh when you, when you slip up uh. Say, say you set a little goal from yourself for yourself. You know, I'm not about to drink for this for this ever long. You know, I'm not about to uh, I'm, I'm gonna contain myself for this ever long. I'm, I'm just mentioning drinking as an example. You know, because because uh, brothers drink. That's that's completely uh, fine in the scriptures. But like you know, you you overindulge for a second. You don't you don't let that weigh you down. You don't you don't be like you know what I'm a, I'm a cast away anyway. You know, I'm 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 nobody. You know, because because you fall, but you get but you get up again. For a just this is uh, 
This is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. Right. We're, we, we're going to continue to rise. That, that's what somebody of the elect would do. Keep, rise, keep rising even after they fall. And, and, it's, and it's, easy, it's easier said than done, but, but somebody who's of the elect, they will do it. A just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Right. So, so when somebody who, who isn't of the house of, uh, of the house of David is somebody who isn't a man of the elect, when they fall, they're just going to keep tumbling downhill and then keep tumbling downhill to be uh, condemned. That's what that's what somebody who's unjust. That's what somebody who's unjust would be. That's what somebody who, who's unjust. Uh, that's the type of uh, type of spirit somebody who's unjust would be would be in. But somebody who who's just when they fall they they rise up again. Because as long as you're, uh, um, you know, you got spirit breathing in you, you still you got it. You got a chance. You know what I'm saying? You got the spirit rolling with you. You you got a chance. So you got to keep fighting. In, you got to keep fighting in these times. Because because. Be, uh, there's so many things that happen before somebody gets on the videos or somebody goes on the highways and, hedge, and hedges. Brothers know that. Brothers know uh, each brother has has their struggle. Brother, brothers know that um, uh, every brother has their things that they're, that they're dealing with. Uh, we we all know that. But a, a righteous a righteous man would would keep going, find ways to make to to make it out there, find ways to to get back on their horse, find ways to get back on their watch. Cause that's because that's what we're supposed to be uh, doing right now. This is First Peter chapter four. This First Peter chapter four verse seven. Uh, let me see if there's for this cause gospel preach also to me again. Con, this is First Peter chapter four verse seven. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity amongst yourself. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Right. So, so we're we're supposed to be having ch having charity. Anything that the brother needs. <laughs> hey, brother Ishakar, I just I just uh, I just read that. That's the spirit. So anything that the brother needs in righteousness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, give it to him. If the if the brother needs uh, you, uses you as a shoulder to lean on, uh, be be that shoulder. Don't don't lift your, your exalt yourself over uh, over the next man because we we all um, we all have our shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? None of, none of us are perfect until we make it on the chariots, until we are made perfect. So like it. So so until then, none of us are, none of us are perfect. So we all we all gotta um, be that be that shoulder shoulder for our brothers because because that's what the that's what the Lord will be doing. And and the end of all the end of all things are at hand. You know what I'm saying? We we see that this is the last days of the la of the of the last days. This is the height of prophecy right now. We got we got a virus out that shut down shut down society basically. There's a virus out to shut down society. You know what I'm saying? We got the so-called white man in guns going on marches, stand, standing on the Capitol Hill with with guns and and purge masks. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, in, in like a military type type presence. You know, there's uproars around uh, uproars around the world. Uh, the world. There, it looks like there's a there's a famine about to come with all this this food getting dumped out, and Esau is is trying to close his grip that he has on society and close his grip on the new world order. So the world is at end. The end of all things is at hand. We see that. This is loud and clear right now more than it ever is. That's why I'm highlighting it. But the end of all things is at hand. This is louder and clearer. Like, like I said in the um, in the other video, you could go up to a homeless man, you could go up to a pregnant woman, you could go up to a, a little kid, and if you ask them, is this the beginning of is this the beginning of the world, or is this the end of the world? And they'll tell you the same thing. The world is about to end. They'll tell you the same thing. Something is not right. So we know that that, that, that this world is, is about to end. So us being men of the Lord, we're supposed to be watchful. We're supposed to be praying. We're supposed to be rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts. And we're supposed to be in the spirit, fervent in the spirit. Like I said right here, fervent charity. We're supposed to be in the spirit. We're, we're supposed to be uh, in, in the spirit. And if you and if you fall short, you got to get back on your horse. You got to get back on your horse again. You got to stand back up on the tower again. 
because because uh, people are getting knocked knocked off in the world. You know, his body his body's dropping every day. You you go on uh you go on these certain websites, you see death death all around us. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want to be one of those people. So we so we got to continue to stay in this stead. I'm gonna read this again. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. And that's another thing. We want our, our sins uh, forgiven. The elect shall have no guile. That's, a, that's another thing. We want our sins uh, forgiven. Elect shall have no guile. And the tongues of the elect shall shall be no guile. I'm trying to find that scripture, Salakia. Tongue that arises again. Um, right so i'm looking for that scripture I, uh i don't see it but um con first peter chapter 2 verse 22 you know what i'm saying that's that's another thing that we fight for we fight for our sins to be forgiven because if if all of our sins that we committed in the, in the world were stacked up against us brothers will be finished right now Brothers will be eliminated right now. So, uh, brothers got to remember all the videos that you're doing, the reading that you're doing. Um, you're, you're doing it for a reason. It's not. It's not just because we're doing it uh, also so our sins could be uh, could be uh, could be wiped, could be expunged, like they they say it. Um, like like they say uh, pertaining to crime. This is first Peter. This is first Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one. For even here unto where ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his footsteps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. This wasn't the scripture I'm looking for, but the elect, the elect, uh, will have no guile in their in their mouths. You know, they'll be they'll be found blameless before the Lord. You know what I'm saying? This is Romans chapter 13 and 11. And that no, knowing, Salakia, I got to bring it up. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that it, that now it is time, high time to wake, awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we, we believed right because this this coronavirus it it um it shut the whole world down and it's and it's also this is also like a big uh it's it's a big uh leader unto all these other prophecies because the famine the famine is is going to come off uh may come come closer off this you know and all these other things are going to closer off this on top of that the, the Lord sending um, sending natural disasters like like we pointed uh, like uh, it was pointed out in the other videos there's storms there's storms coming and there's a storm headed over the south right now and also California which is one of the which is one of the strongholds of the United States it's like California and New York they're overdue for the big one so even even if there's a small say there's a mini uh, earthquake over San Francisco and all those buildings drop and all that stuff is ruptured. How much death and destruction is that? It's a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, so our our the 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 salvation and the end the end of this world, the end of this age, is closer than ever. So that's why we we're supposed to we're supposed to wake up now. Some brothers woke up months ago, years ago, to this truth, calling on the names of the Lord. So now you got it. So now it's time to be stronger than ever. It's 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 time to uh. It's time to level up now. 
because uh, our sal our salvation is near, and the end and the end of this age is near. You know, seeing that all these things is dissolved, what manner of man are we to be? And the, and the the manner of man are we to be is to be doing diligence. It's to be doing diligence and uh and being and 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 being in the spirit, being in the scriptures, preaching, get get getting out there. You know what I'm saying? Be, being in the spirit because because uh the the end is near. Which I got in uh Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6. And this uh I uh you know the spirit spirit led other places, but I want to go back to into being sober minded, you know, not not uh not being swayed one way or the other too far. This is Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So, riddle me this: How could you be on your watch if if your head is messed up the whole time? If 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 you are not right in the spirit, it's not it, you. It's it's all it's damn near impossible for you to be on your watch. So so just like just like if you're a guard you know what i'm saying watching in front of a house you don't want to be sleeping so don't be sleeping in spirit if you're drunk off your off your butt every single day you're going to be sleeping the spirit because you're not going to be watching if you're if you're screaming at your if you're screaming at your lady every single day and night you know what i'm saying just having four or five hour arguing matches and, and all that stuff and just being filled with rage that that she just made you all day and night you, how, how much are, how are, uh how are you gonna be in the spirit how are you gonna be on your watchtower if you're if you're you know super sad super sad super beaten up super down in the spirit your spirit is, is heaviness you know what i'm saying depression all that how are you gonna be on your watchtower and and the end is near so so you got we got we all gotta be on our on our watchtowers we all got something that we're, we're dealing with but we were set on the on these walls to be watchmen, so we gotta we gotta uh, be on our watchtower, and we gotta we gotta we gotta put off uh, that old man that that we are, and and um, and be stronger in the faith than ever. And it's easier said than done. But a righteous man falleth seven times and and uh, and rise, riseth up up again. So we gotta we gotta continue to rise up. This is not the time to be weak in the spirit, because the house of David is waxing stronger and stronger. So which side are you on? Like it says right here, 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. So which side are you right now? Are you waxing stronger and stronger, or are you waxing weaker and weaker? Are you are you getting back up after you, you're falling, or are you lay, are you laying down and rolling over and rolling over again and, and falling off? We gotta be waxing stronger and stronger. And if you and if you were if you were falling in the spirit or falling in in life or or, or not focused uh and not in the spirit this is this is the time to get back to get back on your horse get you got to get back on your horse and be strong and be strong in the spirit than ever because because people are getting knocked off and you don't you don't want to be one of them you know what i'm saying what i have here this is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the, the tower and, and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. Right, we got we to gotta be watching for all these prophecies and watch it for the spirit of the Lord. If you're watching, what's what's going on right now? Well, World, World War III is starting to get uh, it's starting to get kindled. You know what I'm saying? With these airplanes and, and jets, Russia and uh, Russia and the U.S. That, that that tension is being increased. Kim Jong Un, he got sick. So so we'll see what's what's going on with that because he got he's supposedly sick right now. You know what I'm saying? So so he may say the U.S. got him sick. He he was he was at a dinner with the with a U.S. ambassador. And that ambassador put something in his drink. Now he's sick. Now World War III's popping off. Now they got now the U United States got to send people over. Got got to uh, got to send the troops and got to start the draft because because Kim Jong Un uh, got poisoned. And you know them North Koreans don't play around about their person or south or whatever it is north south. You know what I'm saying they don't they don't play around about uh, about Kim Jong Un. You know what I'm saying. 
so so you got to be watching what else what else is going on this virus got the whole world shut down and it's also got uh got these people in the uproar right now it's the so-called edomites that are that are in an uproar these so-called white people they're in the uproars you know standing on standing on the capitol hill with guns and stuff like that standing on the capitol hills the sun with guns being being completely rebellious rebellious all while that while they're trying to uh open up open up this place so we'll we'll see what happens with that because they may try to open it up gets open it up for two weeks and then there starts there starts being fighting fighting on the streets and, and skirmishes on the streets bam they gotta they gotta uh have martial law the whole everything is shut down and then they gotta shut the internet down too because um because there's too much talking on the internet so things could happen like that right now this is luke chapter 21 verse 28 and when these things salakia let me get on the page so that's what that's what i'm trying to work on right now and i'm saying pull, pulling it up as i'm reading you know we all we all got things to improve at in this in this truth because we're all trying to strive for the mastery that's that's our goal and, ob and objective this is luke chapter 21 verse 28 and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh right so we, we got to be we got to be looking up continue to watch watch for the prophecies that yahweh bahashim yahweh shai is sending because every every day is, is something new is something happening every single day you know what i'm saying especially in, in in these times it's every day these past couple days it's been a new state every single every single day that's uh that's been rising up For, first it was it was uh ohio then michigan then michigan you know what i'm saying then the carolinas then it popped up then it popped off in sacramento just a, this another the other day ago minnesota you know what i'm saying it's new states with uprising the lord the lord is putting the spirit of 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 uproars of the people in these people's spirits we got to be watching watching uh for that not only watching reporting reporting we got to be coming to camp with, with 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 something that we saw because because we're watching we're watching something we saw and bring bring it out that's the type of men that's the type of uh man we're supposed to supposed to be right now and and you are you are not going to be like that if you're uh if you're too big too bit uh too bad being being non-sober minded this is titus chapter 2 verse 6 uh verse 4 that they may teach the young women to be sober to love their husbands to love their children Sal salakia i'm gonna start it this is uh titus chapter 2 verse 6 i'm gonna start at verse 6 young men likewise exhort to be sober minded right that's what that's what that's what we're doing and, and that's what you know uh i i hope that this lesson is right now an exhortation to be sober-minded in these times to not be overindulged overindulging in something to, to to be putting your best foot forward because the because the end is end is here it's, it's obvious to see when, when people say things like 2021 I, I i don't really you know what i'm saying I, I can't really see it because the because of the pace this place is going con if you got that scripture it's your car uh, bring it out baba kasha you know what i'm saying because because at the pace this is going the shutdown will be happening at any moment at any moment a month two months three months from now s six months and it, you know what i'm saying but it's, it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen soon so 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 we knowing these things are gonna happen because some people don't still don't believe it and still don't see it but the lord opened our minds to see that to see these things going on so us us knowing these things are going to happen us having the true understanding of what the hell is going on on this earth we have to we got to be sober minded and being on our watch being on our watchtower like it says in titus 2 and 6 young men likewise exhort to be sober minded right so if you see your if you see your brother you know what i'm saying going going off one way don't don't hound on him don't don't uh uh, well, 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 it says in the scriptures, you know, s some save with fear and trembling and, and some save, you know, uh, some save softly, you know what I'm saying? But don't, don't be, a, don't be pointing at him and saying, you know, look, look at you, look at you. You got to be like, look, you got to be like, look, bro, we, you got to get on your horse. 
You got you got to be sober. You got to be sober minded. You're you're overindulging too much in that. You're you're over caring too much in that. We st we still got this at hand. We still got our first love. Uh, this this is still our first love. You know what I'm saying? And and watch be be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right. So we got to be uh we got to be always uh praying in these times because there's certain things that that pop that that uh pop in our heads we got demons attacking our heads all day especially now because you know people are in the house a lot or they they got work and their hours are cut you know what i'm saying so we got so that's so the demons be playing in our minds you ain't really in the truth he don't he don't really like you uh the, the lord is not the lord is not dealing with you you don't even know uh this many scriptures or uh you know and uh Anyway, Satan will try to Satan will try to uh, pull you. You know what I'm saying? So we we gotta be watch uh, and watch and be unto prayer. Always be praying because that's 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 our weapon in these times. That that's our uh, that's our shield. Like like the brother said, the brother said that's our offensive lineman. You know, Satan be throwing blitzes, throwing blitz blitzes in the in, inside, throwing outside blitzes, having the safety come blitz us. But we we gotta um. Second Peter is three and ten. Con, I'm I'm right there. The water, brother. Uh, we gotta be uh, we gotta have our offensive lineman. We gotta have the tight end, the, the tight end come inside and block for us as well. We gotta we gotta ho have the running backs bring have that formation where the running backs are next to us to to be uh to be blocking to be uh to be shielding our minds from these demons from these the for the fiery darts of the wicked. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Which what is that? These nuclear missiles. This place, the United States of America, will be blasted and destroyed with nuclear missiles and nuclear fire. That's according to the scriptures. And the elements shall melt with heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So, so the works that they're in, you know, the career that you set up, all all the all the things that you, that you set up, all of it is going to be burnt up. You you you're not going to take you're not going to take your uh, your college degree with you to the kingdom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going to take uh, the six the sixty six thousand dollars that you had in your in the bank with you to the kingdom but what is what is going to get you to the kingdom is the spirit that you're in that's what's going to get you there because because it says in the scriptures as well that the, that, that you can't uh can't buy the spirit and you know what i'm saying the, the you, you can't uh buy off the lord like lord uh i got uh, about 500 dollars here you know could i get some could i get a couple pieces of the spirit you know what i'm saying could i get a couple pieces of uh could I, could I get the Lord to save me with this uh, 500? You know what I'm saying? This money is passing away anyway. So this is verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. So conversation, that doesn't only mean you're talking. That means your conduct. What, what is the conduct of somebody that is being holy? They'll be going out to camp. They'll 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 be going they'll be going out to camp. You know what I'm saying? They won't be slack. They they if they fall and they stumble, they'll get back up again and try and 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 and, uh, and do better again. That that's 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 what uh they'll they'll be in the spirit. They'll be praying. They'll be preaching. They'll be they'll be calling. For, they'll be uh praying praying to the Lord. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being uh the Father. Yahweh Shai being the Son. Who who are two black men. And Yahweh, Yahweh is who, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is who the world calls Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? You'll be you'll be praying to those to those names and those entities. You'll be you'll be in charity. You'll be in charity with the brothers, not not with ends and s's of the world. This is Ephesians chapter six verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power and in the power of His might. Salakia forgot to bring it up. This 
is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil you know and the wiles, the wiles of the devil is trying to send send you and send your mind into every other way you know this is good too this is verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places right because satan will try to attack your spirit because because some sometimes you'll be a lot of times you'll be completely healthy everything in your body is fine you know you got a little bit of aches and bruises but your mind is toe up you got you got uh, your mind is so beaten up you know you feel condemned so we so we gotta have the we gotta have that armor on you know which is the scriptures which is you know prayer which is the brotherhood that the lord blessed that the lord blessed uh bless a lot of us with which is the videos that will be able to stand stand against the fiery darts of the wicked the wiles of the devil always always praying this is matthew chapter 24 verse 42 watch therefore for ye not know we ye, ye know not what hour your lord to lock it didn't pull it up That, but that's a good scripture because we don't we don't know when the Lord comes, so you shouldn't be in the spirit of okay, uh, you know what I'm saying when when he's when he's coming down with the cloud the clouds and the chariots, I'm gonna get right then. You should be in the spirit right now is I'm I'm gonna get right right now and continue to be built up until until those times comes. It's Matthew chapter 24 verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do, doth come. Right, because we don't know what time the Lord comes. Only only the lord not even yahweh shai uh jesus christ not even he uh the yahweh shai knows what time the lord comes not even the angels but the lord himself yahweh knows so brothers brothers uh always got to be we always got to be uh standing upon our watch and being uh and being uh seen good and be rehearsed rehearsing the righteous acts and being in the spirit you know so that's what i wanted to get into today I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Level honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And brothers, uh, you know, if you if you was down, get back up, because that's 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 the quality of Jake, of the Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. We 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 don't quit. So if you was if you was down, you gotta get you gotta get back up and 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 go, and go hard. The house of David waxed stronger and stronger. And we got we to continue to be praying and watching and be wise and be circumspect in these times. Because the end is, is now here. And when we see that. We see all the stuff around us. So with that, I want to say uh, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'a Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elects. And uh, Lord willing, we meet again, you know. To walk.